When men say they're not going to protect a woman unless she's an immediate family member, and when they say they don't want to protect a non-related family member because they don't want to risk their lives doing it, what they really mean is that they're scared and they're pussy. That's all it is. It's no need to read into it any deeper. Oh, so according to you, men are pussy because we refuse to protect some random woman who nine times out of 10 don't respect us men, have all this resentment towards men, but yet somehow men are supposed to be obligated to protect you. <laughs> Boy, you are funny there, ma'am. But then again, ma'am, you claim you have a husband, you're married and have a husband. I believe it's your husband's job to protect you, not some random stranger off the street. I mean, this shit is comical. And why should a, a man put his life on the line, make, it, make his wife widow, his girlfriend alone, and his children bastards? Can she answer this question? I doubt it. Well, I mean, the thing is also is that, you know, women have changed, I think, throughout time. And, you know, men still have this this desire to protect women. Hell, we still don't like to see women cry and all that. It triggers something in us biologically, you know, but we live in a time now where you can't take that risk of even trying to save a woman in situations a lot of times because that would can turn against you. You know what I mean? I seen a story one time where this woman was getting assaulted by this guy and this guy came out of nowhere and helped her got the guy off of her and all that she ended up suing both of them she accused both of them or doing the, of doing the same thing she didn't want to acknowledge that the guy actually saved her and he was just being a good samaritan but it's like why do you why would any guy this day take that chance of that happening there's a, there was another example of uh someone that pulled over to help a woman that was stranded on the freeway with the flat tire she ended up suing him after that incident. So it's really just not worth it. You know, women don't show men enough respect. They don't respect men in general, but they still want men to do all those traditional things that benefit them. Protection, provision, all these things. They still want that. But the majority of them is nowhere near close to um, traditional at all. They're not even close. They don't even resemble anything that a traditional woman is for the most part. Now, are there outliers? Of course, there's women out there that are not like them. I just wish that they were the majority, but they're not. So they don't make the rule. We're talking about the majority here. The majority of women here are not traditional. They're fake. They wear a lot of uh, uh, makeup. They wear a lot of jewelry. They wear a lot of fake hair. They wear a lot of fake external things. They even do fake uh, body modifications. And then all they do is walk around saying, I'm the table. My body is the table. My personality, my vibe, my energy. They don't offer men anything. But they want men to give them everything and to actually put themselves on the line and threaten their life if something were to happen to them in front of a man. They do expect men to protect them like that, right? You see, women, can't, they can't protect men like we protect them. They don't have brute physical strength. So they depend on that. They want that. But they constantly push men out, constantly devaluing men until it's time that they need men for something. Oh, I need to call the police. I hope men come. I need to call the ambulance. I hope men come. Somebody's chasing me. I hope a man jumps and stops him. You know, I need my car fixed, etc., etc. My plumbing. You could name all kinds of things because men, you know, we're the ones that take care of the infrastructures in society. Even a sperm bank is the same thing. You have to have men to make that work. So we give all these things, all these benefits, all these resources, and we always have and we always will continue to do because we under, to do that because we understand that that's our job and that's what we're supposed to do. But women, they don't respect that. They don't respect it at all, but they want it all. They don't bring anything, no nurturing, no loving. You don't hear them talking about who they are as a person. None of that stuff. It's all about look at my body. And you should just do it for me just because I'm a woman, just because I'm a queen, just because I deserve it. No, sis, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve anything that's not earned. And like I always tell guys, 
Don't give a woman anything that she has not earned because she will not respect you. It's just a fact. And the more time goes by with this extreme feminist stuff, the worse this gets. Ten years ago, it wasn't this bad, but it's progressing every five years or so. Some would say every year, every two years. But it's progressing rapidly. It's getting worse rapidly. And it doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. I don't see the majority of women saying, you know what? We need to change this narrative. I don't see a majority of women doing powwows and doing marches and doing all this stuff that they do for other issues that they want to stand up for. When do you see them doing all these things to stand up for actual equal treatment, actual equal respect? You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.